What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plug and Police. I'm your host, Massive Piece of Camera. I broke the lens on my other camera, so it's gonna be a few days before I can use my other camera again. So we're stuck with this for now. If you see like some noise, or if I just I just look stupid, that's why. Today I'll be reviewing Fad Filter Twin 3, a synth I generally do not care too much about, but there's a drought in content at the moment, so I'm gonna have to do something. And this is that something. Fad Filter Twin is a software synthesizer. They claim it has the best analog model oscillators out there. We're gonna find out if that's true today. It's available for Windows. 11 10 8 7 vista holy shit, i didn't know people still use vista well my condolences if that's good news for you also for mac os 10.13 or higher 64 bit only it's 129 dollars or 65 to upgrade it may actually be lower than this directly from fab filter i can't say for certain because you have to have fab filter twin 2 and you have to be logged in in order to see the upgrade price and there's a 30-day trial yeah, every time I turn my head, there's a bunch of snow. Okay, the UI, it's well-designed, it's pretty simple, but able to do complex tasks as well. I generally like Fat Filter's UIs for the most part. I like how they all have a similar style as well. The visuals are pretty. Ooh, ah, would you look at that? Wow, are we winning, son? The interface is a large improvement over FabFilter Twin 2. FabFilter Twin 2 was actually disgusting to look at. Oh God, put that thing away. It's no wonder that I basically never used it. Oscillators are very high quality sounding due to the analog model drift for subtle pitch and phase variation. That's the trade off with this one. You don't get wavetables, but you do get a more analog sounding oscillator. And I think that's really the strong point of this synthesizer. And I guess you could also say it's one of the biggest faults as well too, since they focus so much on having the analog model oscillators, there aren't any wavetables. And I feel like the intro video they have for this on their website undersells the synthesizer to a high degree. Like, don't get me wrong, this sounds good here, but I just feel like it doesn't really showcase the full potential of this synthesizer. Like, I don't think they picked the best presets or made the best sounds for this demo. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect. There are quite a few things about this could, that could be better, unless you just like classic synthesis, then this is probably the perfect synth for you, but I find classic synthesis pretty limiting. It now has an extra oscillator, but if I'm being honest, how often do you find yourself needing four oscillators? I guess the only time you may actually use four oscillators would be if you're using one as a ring modulator and that's really the only time i'd see myself using the fourth oscillator they've increased the maximum number of voices from 32 to 64 again i'm not sure how often you're going to be using 64 voices they also added a per oscillator polyphony mode so you can change the amount of polyphony for each oscillator definitely an interesting feature some of the other new features include drag and drop modulation but what synth doesn't have that nowadays it now has four filters including the new vintage styled bell also features shelf and notch it also has 4x oversampling trust me this is not a green screen guys okay green screen disappear the presets are pretty high quality for the most part although there aren't a whole lot of them they've also included the version 2 presets as well and they are separated into a different area which i find to be pretty useful if you're not too familiar with fab filter twin 2 and you don't want to have to figure out which ones are new they're actually separated, so that's good. There could definitely be more presets in this, but maybe it's because of how limited the sound of this is. All I'm saying is there would be a lot more presets if it was a wavetable synth. A lot of the ones in here are actually pretty good. I made some pretty cool beats with it. Presets can be assigned tags for filtering within the search engine. The only issue is that you're pretty limited to the types of sounds you can make with this, so I'm not sure often you'd actually be using the tags. It has a new FX section that features six different modules. It's dynamic, saturation, compressor, drive. Drive, damn it reverb and delay chorus and phaser you know all the basics essentially you can modulate all of it i would at least i would you would hope so at this point it's got envelope generators followers lfos x and y sliders midi sources there's also an arpeggiator now including host sync groove and legato rate offset controls one cool thing about the arpeggiator on this is how you can manually adjust the groove and you can actually see how the groove looks visually so in short what i'm saying is they've added literally everything except for wavetables why why so i made music with this in a few different genres just off the top of my head without really thinking about it too much and for some reason my dumb ass started making a lo-fi beat it turns out it's not a good thing to try to make with the synth it's not impossible but you're kind of forced to not use piano or guitars essentially and that's kind of the foundation of a lot of lo-fi music at least like lo-fi hip-hop beats 24 7. if you're planning on making lo-fi with this make a different plan now before you say anything about me using a drum loop this is my drum loop okay that i made and you can access this on my patreon so draw my patreon so 
the synth is definitely good for electronic music, which is, you know, it's a synth. So that makes sense. So after, after realizing that mistake, I decided to make like an electronic trap beat. That came out all right. I used twin three for every melodic element as well as the 808 here. I also made like a deep house track, I guess you could call it. And that one was probably my favorite thing that I made with this. I used twin three for every melodic element as well as the bass line here. I know these demos may not sound too bad, but I picked the best sounding presets I could find. So keep that in mind when you're hearing these. Overall, I think this isn't a bad synth if you're looking for a synthesizer that sounds really good, but you're not too worried about wavetables and whatnot. Now, if this thing had wavetables, this would be top tier. I don't know why they, I don't know why they don't just like worry about wavetables at this point. Here are some alternatives I would recommend. Vital, which is free. It has way more timbre options. It doesn't sound as smooth and analog as this synth does though, but I doubt it's that noticeable in the context of a full song. They also have a paid version for more wavetables and presets. Serum, which is $189, but it also has way more timbre options than this. Oberhausen, which is 249, which is a bit much for what it is, but it also sounds really nice. It also has that analog sort of sound, although it sounds a bit different to me than this one. Weirdly, they were giving this one out for free not that long ago which is crazy. I can't believe they're charging 249 for it now because I would never pay that. And there's Faceplant, which is 199. This synth literally has every option. It is the most powerful synth you can get a hold of, in my opinion. And there's Surge XT, it's free. I honestly don't have much experience with this one yet, but a lot of people have suggested it to me. All right, here's some more things I'm not a fan of with the synth. There's no frequency modulation, although you could technically use an LFO to do it. There's no wavetables, which doesn't give you as many timbre options. This, this definitely would never be my go-to for designing complex bass sounds. I would definitely go to Vital or something else for that. There's no granular, there's no MPE. And another thing that bugs me is that when you double click a parameter, it doesn't reset it. I'm not sure why they opted out of doing that. This is far from my first choice of a synth, but it's far from being bad either. I'd probably give it a strong six. I definitely feel like FabFilter can do better than this, especially when you have a look at their other products. It's like they wanted to make the synth better, but they didn't want to do anything too difficult. If they actually added the things I requested, this synth could be thrown around in the GOAT conversation with Serum, Vital, Faceplant, etc. It's like they willingly held themselves back here, and I want them to do better than this. Have you guys tried FabFilter Twin 3? What did you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to shave my eyebrows if I get to 50,000 before the end of the year. So here's an artistic representation of what that would look like. Make sure to check me out on social medias. I'll see you guys in the next video. Incorporated.